Well, this is a very noisy environment. Uh, I am on the side on the bicycle track, but there is a bunch of traffic. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me, and of course it's gonna be a super shaky video, but it is what it is. Right, so I was talking to a friend yesterday about a book that I have read uh, a while ago, and something that has just stuck with me. Uh, it's a book called Pay It Forward. Uh, I hope you can hear me. And uh, whilst I think that the concept of the book is so commonsensical and so uh, simple, that book uh, has stuck with me. And uh, every time I see something nice happening in the world, anything at all, it can be something very really small, sometimes something very really big that people do for one another. Uh, I realize that uh, it is so important to be able to understand that the people who are doing the good stuff very rarely need it back because uh, if you are capable of doing something beautiful, something um, well, generous, magnanimous often for someone else, You've already reached a point where you don't necessarily need it back um, at that level. You first always need stuff back to keep you going. But uh, thinking of these generous activities as a debt is the mistake that we make. What is necessary is that when something nice is done to you, you don't pay it back, you pay it forward. And that is how it spreads. That is how it spreads. If someone makes you smile today, take it forward. Make a couple other people smile. And you've more than paid your debt back. Well, there's a bunch of um, examples we were talking about. Um, and uh, I would like to kind of continue this particular talk when I'm a little more perceivable for you guys. But I had to start it off here. So look forward to that one. Um, we call that one uh, paying it forward. Hey, I just realized when I take a pause, this works better. I'll consider doing that in some. Bye for now.